Precancerous growths called actinic keratoses are the second most frequent reason that Americans visit the dermatologist. Here, we explore the options for treating actinic keratoses. At the first sign of the rough lesions that indicate actinic keratoses, or AKs, it is important to seek treatment from a dermatologist. This is vital because untreated AKs can become skin cancer called squamous cell carcinoma. Although he is best known as our 41st president, in 2002, George H.W. Bush became one of the millions of people who successfully seek treatment for AKs. The former president underwent cryosurgery, a freezing procedure to remove lesions on his face. Standard treatment for AKs can be broadly split into two categories, surgical destruction and medical therapy. Common surgical destruction methods include cryosurgery, curettage, dermabrasion, and laser resurfacing. Medical therapies include diclofenac sodium gel, imiquimod, and topical chemotherapy. One of the newest treatment methods, photodynamic therapy, combines both medical and surgical therapies. Photodynamic therapy is the destruction of affected cells using a combination of a medication and a light source. When undergoing photodynamic therapy, a patient will start by applying topical medication. Several hours later, a doctor will treat the affected area with a light source. The light interacts with the medication to destroy precancerous cells. The most common treatment for AKs is the one that was used to treat George Bush Sr., cryosurgery. Cryosurgery is a freezing procedure where liquid nitrogen is applied to skin lesions with a spraying device. The nitrogen freezes the skin's surface. As the skin heals, AKs are sloughed off. Sometimes, lesions progress to such an advanced state that a procedure called curettage is performed. A patient first receives local anesthesia. Then, a spoon-shaped instrument called a curette is used to scrape off AKs. A similar treatment option that also requires local anesthesia is called dermabrasion. During this procedure, a rapidly moving brush is used to abrade and erode the affected skin cells. Medical therapy for AKs requires a patient to apply a prescription cream to affected areas. The most frequently used medical treatment is a cream called 5-fluorouracil, or 5-FU. 5-FU destroys AK cells by blocking chemical reactions that are essential for the lesions to survive. It is imperative that pregnant and nursing women avoid using 5-FU cream. Another topical cream, called imiquimod, must be applied for 4 to 16 weeks and modifies the skin's immune system, encouraging it to reject the sun-damaged cells and fight the lesions. Diclofenac sodium gel is another topical medication which is used to treat multiple AKs. As you can see, there are many effective treatments for actinic keratoses. Be sure to talk to your dermatologist about the advantages and disadvantages of each. Want to learn more? Check out other videos and sources on this site for more information.